What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for clicking on the video and today we're going to be talking about A Quiet Place Day One. This movie is directed by Michael Sarnowski. I'm not really familiar with his work but I am familiar with this franchise. I love the first two movies and when I saw the trailer for this new one I was gassed. I was honestly super excited. Lupita Nyong'o is great in everything I see her in so I had no doubts there. And in this movie the franchise rewinds for a new perspective dropping us on day one of the alien invasion. We follow Lupita Peter Nuango Sam, who is terminally ill and living in a hospital outside the city. During a trip into the city, the invasion begins and Sam with her cat Frodo are caught in the middle of the chaos. They come across a man named Eric, played by Joseph Quinn, and when he refuses to go it alone, the three travel through the city as they try not to get killed. So first of all, both Sam and Eric are great characters. The movie is really smart to just focus on them. Usually when I go into a horror movie, I get really nervous because especially a lot of sci-fi horror movies, they like to have a lot of characters. Specifically, they like to have us do like side quests with all these other characters that honestly, we don't care about. As, as a matter of fact, a lot of them are usually there to just get slaughtered. So I was happy to see that this movie focuses on Sam and Eric, and Frodo. I'm not, I'm not gonna forget about Frodo. Did you know that for just the price of one opening weekend movie ticket, you can find out if this cat survives a quiet place day one. I think that's good. I think it gives us ample opportunity to learn everything that we need to know about these two characters for that chemistry to start, you know, working on us right away. And yeah, I think the writing for these characters is great. Eric is an English law student that's only in New York for his studies. He implies that he hasn't done a ton with his life up until this point, which was endearing to me because I can relate. And he definitely seems like one of those characters that hasn't done a whole lot on his own. He hasn't really done a lot in terms of being able to go into a new location, a new situation, and be able to navigate it on his own. He just doesn't really give off that kind of energy. And Sam seems to be very much the opposite. She she definitely gives off this vibe that she's used to fending for herself. She's used to... Bruh. <laughs> Guys, something scared the shit out of me. My windows are right here, and I literally just saw a bird on the fence just take off, and it scared the shit out of me. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get, I get startled pretty quick. I thought I was about to get attacked by an alien. I was just like, what the fuck going on here, bro? Sam gets off this energy that's very much the opposite of Eric. She gives off this vibe that she's very self-sufficient, very independent. It seems like she kind of has that MJ from Spider-Man kind of energy where it's like, if you expect disappointment, then you can never really get disappointed. <laughs> and her being a cancer patient, that's understandable. So when the alien invasion starts and Sam and Eric eventually cross paths, Eric is just like, yo, I don't wanna go nowhere. Like, I wanna stay with you. And Sam is like, can you like fuck off? Like, stop following me, Colonizer. And unlike Eric, Sam doesn't wanna evacuate the city when the alien invasion starts. She instead wants to get pizza which I won't dare spoil for you. You just you just gotta see the movie, okay? Just see the movie. I feel like I can relate to both of these characters in this situation. I feel like if I was in Eric's shoes, I can definitely understand if I came across somebody like Sam, who seemed very intelligent, who seemed like they knew how to navigate situations, I would definitely be like, uh, separating is not the move. I'm not good by myself. You seem like you got everything down pat. You're on top of it. I'm sticking with you, bro. Like, I listen, in these movies, survival is based on who's around you. And if you around me, I feel like I'm gonna breathe, okay? Hello. But I also can relate to Sam and being in her shoes, being like, you know what, I, I think I'm good. Like, I think having people around is just gonna slow me down. You probably just gonna end up getting on my nerves anyway. You can you can go about your business. So I get it. I, I was able to, you know, feel both of their perspectives in that way. The cat was great too. Great at stressing me the fuck out. Every time this cat darted off that way or ran off that way, I'm just sitting here like, yo, if they kill this freaking cat, I'm never gonna forgive this movie. Like, I'm not gonna forgive y'all. I'm done. I'm so done. One of my favorite scenes, there's a thunderstorm going on and Sam and Eric take shelter in Sam's apartment. And it's in this apartment where we learn a little bit more about Sam. We learn a little bit about Eric. You know, we're building that character development, that chemistry I was talking about earlier. And they're overwhelmed with the stress. They're overwhelmed with the situation that's going on. So they're actually watching the lightning from the window so that they can time with the thunder their 
agonizing screams. We're human beings. When something crazy that is going on, it's just natural to react to it. So when you're dealing with an enemy like these aliens that can hear every single thing you do, you don't really have those moments where you can let out all of this emotion, you know what I'm saying? So watching them just take this really small opportunity to let out all these emotions, I just thought that was a really powerful scene. I just thought it worked brilliantly. It, it, it sold the fear and the gravity of the situation. So yeah, I know I haven't really talked about the aliens that much yet. And the reason is because I don't think the aliens are the reason I love these movies. Honestly, like, don't, don't get me wrong though. The aliens are terrifying. Like, they're absolutely terrifying. One of my favorite scenes has Eric going into the city because Sam needs more medication. She doesn't have any more of her medication. I'm telling you, he has a he has an encounter with a couple of the aliens and this scene had me on the edge of my seat. I, there was a moment where I was just like, bro, this guy's dead. Like, it's, it's, it's done. Like, this guy's about to be out of here, bro. But see, what makes these scenes so terrifying, It it's the performances from Lupita and Joseph. Like, they're just so great as these characters, they're so good at these little human moments that feel real. They feel more natural than a lot of other horror movies, and I appreciated that. The fact that they have to give these performances while being completely silent a lot of the time makes the feeling I get from them that much more powerful. And by the way, check out my No One Will Save You review for a movie that's even quieter than this one. And I, I love that movie. I, I actually want to watch it right now. I, I love that movie. Check that movie out, man. But yeah, the, the ending was beautiful too. Again, you ain't gonna get no spoilers out of me, but Lupita Nyong'o, man, like she is one of the best actors acting right now. I'm telling you, she is great in this movie from the beginning to the very end. And I don't think Lupita will get an Oscar for this role, but I do hope her name floats around during award season because I'm, I'm not joking. Like I thought she was stellar in this movie. Absolutely stellar. Not that she's less than stellar in anything that she's in, but you guys get what I'm saying. The movie's short, the direction is fire, the writing Writing is on point, very focused, very well paced, all of it, man. In case you couldn't tell, I love this movie, man. I, I love it. Probably my favorite film in the franchise so far. I mean, the aliens are scary as hell, the visuals are dope, the effects are flawless, but in the end, none of that matters if the core of the movie doesn't work. If the story doesn't work, if the writing doesn't work, if the characters don't work, you're never gonna have a great film if you don't have those core things. And I feel like this movie has those core things in spades, man. This will probably be in my top 10 by the end of the year. I mean, fuck it. I'm gonna give A Quiet Place Day 1 an A. Definitely love this one. It's shaping up to be a great year in the movie so far. I love this movie. I think you guys should definitely check it out. Stay tuned on the channel. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I got a humongous video coming and that's where I've been. I thought I'd take a break from it to give you guys a review of this movie real quick because I loved it and I hope you guys get to check it out. But yeah, like I said, stay tuned. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit that comment section. I want to know your guys' favorite alien invasion movie. Go ahead and drop that in the comment section. I'll be looking. I'll be responding. I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.